The if and only if statement is called a biconditional statement. The biconditional statements are conditional statements that are true if the statement is still true when the antecedent and the consequent are reversed. So for instance, if a person is a father, then that person is a male is true. The statement, if a person is a male, then that person is a father is not necessarily true. Just take a look at it. If a person is a male, can you conclude that that person is a father? No, that is not necessarily true. If a person is an unmarried male, then that person is a bachelor. Now let's try to reverse the antecedent and the consequent. We say, if a person is a bachelor, then that person is an unmarried male. That is also true. So this statement here, this last statement, are example of a compound statement if and only if. Because this statement, this statement is true, this conditional statement is true. And when you reverse the antecedent and the consequent, the statement is also true. The compound statement P if and only if Q, this is abbreviated as IFF, is symbolized by this one. So you have this double arrow here. So that is the symbol for if and only if. Now if we extend the meaning for the English statement that we have discussed for if P then Q statements. So we have this symbol for P if and only if Q. We also have that same symbol if you have Q if and only if P. P if and only if Q is the same as Q if and only if P because you can reverse the antecedent and the consequent. This symbol if P then Q and if Q then P, that also means biconditional. That also means both sides are the same. And then if we have P is necessary and sufficient for Q. Or you could also have Q is necessary and sufficient for P. If you take a look at the following example, suppose P is the statement a person is an unmarried male and Q is the statement a person is a bachelor. If you write it in P if and only if Q form, you would say that a person is an unmarried male if and only if that person is a bachelor. Or you could write this as a person is a bachelor if and only if that person is an unmarried male. If you see the expression necessary and at the same time sufficient. For instance here, being an unmarried male is necessary and sufficient for being a bachelor. So that is a biconditional statement. Or you could also say a bachelor is necessary and sufficient for being an unmarried male. So necessary and sufficient is the same as if and only if. And also you could say if then, okay, so if a person is an unmarried male, then that person is a bachelor. And so you have this and, and then you reverse the antecedent and the consequent. If a person is a bachelor, then that person is unmarried male. This also means the same thing, a biconditional statement.